this is what we call awesome. This is a fitting time to have this reunion, not only because the Tampa Bay Buccaneers just won the Super Bowl, but all three of these guys on the screen are pro football Hall of Famers now. Warren Sapp, class of 2013, Derek Brooks, class of 2014, and class of 2021, John Lynch. How are you guys? Good to see you. Doing well, doing well. Congratulations, man. Welcome to the party, baby. <laughs> oh, thank you, fellas. Rich, these guys have been incredible. Uh, you know, first of all, obviously playing with them they made my job a lot easier but uh, let me tell you since the day they went in they both looked me in the eye and said hey your time's coming and they never stopped saying that so I'll forever be indebted to them for uh for what they did on the field for the friendship either one of these guys I could call right now and say hey I need you and they'd be there but uh but the fact that they kept battling in their own way to, uh, to make it uh such that that I joined this club with them man it, it it's uh it warms my heart yeah. This is and Brooks. I mean, this was part of the the Tampa Bay welcoming committee that you were on for the team. Right? <laughs> you made this happen. Right? That's uh, yes. part of it, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, indeed. The, uh, you know, that, that's. I tell you what, I'd rather play in a Super Bowl than be the chairman of the host committee. I, I tell you that right now, man. At least you know your one opponent. You know, when you're playing in the game and you can study that opponent, you can break them down. They show tendencies, etc. When you're playing in a Super Bowl, you got to be nimble on your feet. And especially this past year, uh, we had to adjust, you know, even right up to minute by minute sometimes the information that we was getting uh, at the time. But at the end of the day, I, I'm proud to say that all the partners uh, here in the Bay Area, they stuck with us. Uh, they didn't bail on us. <laughs> and I hope uh, we put on a good show. Oh, yeah, you did. No doubt about it. All right, Sap, I'll go turn to you first here. The fact that you guys are now all three Hall of Famers. If I had come up to you when you first all became teammates and told you this was going to happen one day, what would you have told me? You lost your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I try to tell people all the time, as a little country boy coming from Plymouth, Florida, I don't think any of us, Derek coming from uh, Pensacola and John Lynch with that silver spoon in his mouth, none of us <laughs> dreamed of this. None of us dreamed of this. You know, as a, as a little country boy, all the thing I thought of was just getting on the TV so my people back at the house know I was still alive and I was playing the game. And Monday Night Football was the ultimate dream. So for all three of us to be in the hall now, oh, we're going to have a party. We're going to yeah. have a party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, people forget Lynch, you know, he was better known for a baseball player. Before yes. he's a football player. Lot of Marlins. Lot of first pick. <laughs> you guys remember being in the in the back of that room, Rich? I'll, I'll never forget it as long as I live. Uh, the the back, I mean, the old one, Buck. It was a woodshed. <laughs> we had sliding doors. The ones you had to you get, you used to get your finger caught in there, opening that thing up. But we were in that back room the day these two, or right after they got drafted. And I walked in the room. I had been there a couple of years. And, um, you know, Sap's always so quiet. He said, hey, you're that white boy that knocks people out. You ready to go? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so, you know my philosophy, Rich. The front and the back end work together, baby. So I had to make sure my safety was rocking and rolling because I knew Derrick Bruce was going to put his sirens on and patrol the highways because you just can't get away from him. So I, I knew if I had that front and that back end working, the middle was solidified with five five. Well, so, thank you. Man. Yeah, you, so that, you remember that day too, Derek? Where you walked in? Yeah, I remember. I remember very clearly. Uh, <laughs> you gotta know, got understand this, Rich. Sap, Sap and I, we've known each other since we were fifteen years old. So you know his personality. I knew this in high school. So so everybody else did. So our relationship, you know, goes so far back. As a matter of fact. His roommate in college and my roommate in college, Devin Bush and Ryan, Ryan Cobb, they were best friends. <laughs> and, <It's> still off. <laughs> oh, so again, our, our relationship goes very back. So we first walked in, you know, one, just watching the draft, you know, I was very hurt and disappointed, you know, for my friend Sap because he, you know, again, not drumming up memories here, but he was treated unfair. <laughs> so part the of the clock went off. We good. The alarm clock yeah. went off. We woke <laughs> so, up. This is good. So, you know, I felt bad for him that, you know, he slipped the 12, but 
obviously when the bus traded for me and I knew we were on the same team, all of that didn't matter to me. I was going to play, in my opinion, with the most dominant player that year in our draft. And we was going to turn it around. So as we were sitting there, and it's right, it's, I believe it's right before we met Leroy Self. So we got there together. Sap tells me about Lynch, and then they tell us we get ready to meet <laughs> Leroy. I just look at Sap and I said, "Man, I don't know what these guys used to, but we didn't come here to lose. We're going to turn this around." At and so I was like, "You damn right, we're going to tell everybody <laughs> about it." I said, "Exactly." So, so we just kind of had that mindset coming into the draft in '95, and you know, even on the '94 season, the Bucks had finished the season with like I think a four or five game winning streak. So they kind of had some momentum and got Alvin Harper in free agency and Kenny Gant. So it was a little bit of vibe in 95, you know, going into the season. But, man, I tell you, it was rough. That, that, that rookie year was rough. I mean, we were five and two at one point. But it I felt like, <laughs> yeah, it, but it felt like we was, you know, 0 and 16 just from the culture, you know, that was there. So. Again, that first year was uh, it was rough, but you could tell we, we had a good nucleus there, particularly on defense. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.